This is the second episode of injection of me giving to neighboring auntie when I was in medical school. If you like this story, please consider subscribing to this channel for more stories like this and give a like to this video. Also, press bell icon for notifications. So, I gave an injection to Wuma Anti in her arm. She was supposed to take two more antibiotic injections. She said she would be back. Mira Anti invited me at her house for food during the dinner. She called me at 8pm. When I went there, I saw there were two other women. I knew one, she was Neela Anti, she lived just beside our house. I did not know the other woman. Mira Anti introduced me to her. She was her elder sister. Mira Auntie's sons were studying away from home. Her husband was not at home too. So, I was feeling awkward amongst them. Mira Auntie was cooking. She said that you must have been bored alone at home, so I called you here. Thus we can all do small chats. It was summertime. Mira Auntie was in the kitchen, and didn't wear any blouse. She only had sari. Other two women had sleeveless blouses and sari too. They were really excited meeting me because I was going to be a doctor. I was probably the first doctor in the neighborhood. They were asking for solution for simple problems they often face. I was trying to give them my opinion. Meanwhile, Wuma Auntie came in there. She was looking for me in our house, and could not find, so came here. She said that she was feeling nauseated, and severe pain in the arm, and she wanted to see me, if I could do something to get rid of that pain. I felt her pulse and her heart rate was too high. I told her to wait there, and I went my house, to bring my medical kit. I told the others to lie her down. I brought my kits and immediately prepared an injection, to slow down her heart rate. She was still in sleeveless blouse, and I took her right arm this time. I inject the needle deep into her muscle. She made that sound wooch, but I ignored. After two minutes, her heart rate got normal. Then I decided to give her a painkiller injection. Other aunties were all surrounded and asked Mira auntie that that Wuma auntie needs an injection, but this will go in her butt. Can you make her lose her sari? Wuma auntie was very fair. All the time Mira auntie was without any blouse. Sometimes her sari was falling off from the shoulder. She was conscious about that and making adjustment every time. Anyways I had a small glimpse several times. Mira Anti removed the cloth from the waist of Wuma Anti. It was a very fair soft bottom. I looked at it, and concentrated on preparing the injection. After a few moments, I had the injection prepared. It was a big needle. I cleaned the right side of her bottom. And left the alcohol to dry up. As I tapped the syringe several times, by holding the needle up, and then pushed the plunger up to remove the air bubble, Wuma Anti alone with others, anticipated the pain from the needle going to happen. I placed my left hand on the waist of Wuma Anti, and then jabbed the needle very fast. The needle penetrated the soft flesh of Wuma Anti's bottom like a fork entering into the cake. I pushed that entire needle in. She jerked and made huge sound again. I told Mira Anti to hold her tightly. That time Neela Anti too came forward, and held the hands of Wuma Anti. I finished the injection within a minute. I swiftly pulled the needle out, and pressed the injection spot with the cotton. Then I gave her a massage with my right palm for about a minute. And then told Wuma Auntie to stay lying for another 15 minutes. If you like this series of injection stories, please give a like, and consider subscribing for more stories like this. Please give your comment on what other aunties felt, when they witnessed Wuma Auntie getting an injection.